that's a big ass piece of chicken. Have you guys seen that video? That's a big ass piece of chicken. That's a big piece of big. Hi, I'm Kaibutsu and welcome back to the Kaibutsu channel. Today I prepped a video that, not gonna lie, I thought about it like 25 minutes ago. Basically, I'm gonna compile five of my favorite videos that I made on my channel and kind of give you some backstory and some context in some of the scenes because I never bothered to add them because yay laziness. And it's like half two in the morning. I'm. I, I can't go to sleep. Imagine going to sleep. Sleep is for losers. That was not funny. Coming into the number five spot, we've got the time I went ice skating. Basically, the backstory to this, I was invited by my dad to spend some time with my stepsisters over in Southampton. Turns out they were also going to an ice skating rink too. So I... I hopped at the opportunity and basically recorded a vlog about it. Basically, I, um, I met these people. Uh, turns out one of them was actually Russian, which I thought was kind of cool. She gave me this sticker that said pork on it, and I thought I genuinely had to put that on for the event. So I put it on my forehead. And then, I don't know, just sticking it on my forehead. I don't know, I thought it was really funny. She read my bag. It, it said, oh, oh, a manic fanboy. But it's, why, why the fuck did I do that, honestly? I fell over like twice. Uh, then the lights went off and then there was like this disco display, but I was only there for like five minutes afterwards because I was growing tired. And I had a blister on my foot, which was there for like three weeks after the, the whole thing happened. And I didn't even notice it was there until I noticed a f just this massive excess amount of dead skin on my foot. And I was like, what the hell is that? But yeah, overall, that was a pretty nice event. <laughs> Okay, coming into the number four spot is the last time I ever visited my local anime shop. So basically, here's some history. Uh, in 2017, in my hometown, uh, a shop opened up called Tomodachi Ten. And basically inside the shop, long story short, it was just a bunch of weeb stuff. Um, until I received word that um, on a, one of the days in February, I don't remember, uh, that it would close permanently. And I thought, why not give it one last shop since everything was going to be on sale? Uh, and say goodbye to the shop owners. Because I had a weird kind of, I, I wouldn't say it was like i had a kind of a relationship with the um with the shop owner but yeah she was genuinely like a really sweet japanese lady too i told her about some stuff i was a fan of including a uh, an old series called loop on the third which funny enough she actually used to watch as a kid basically i went there with um, one of my former friends and we we had a browse until i realized you had to pay with cash because the card machines weren't working so i had to come back the next day because I didn't have my wallet with me, so I couldn't withdraw any cash. So I came back the next day and I bought what I needed and I gave the shop owner a gift, which is of a figure of Lupin. This is a YouTube video I find myself watching sometimes. Yeah, I watch my own YouTube videos, I know. Um, just for the fact that, you know, I like to reminisce on those times. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say, so I'm gonna go to the number three spot. Draco. All right. So Coming in at number three was the time I went to my first airsoft event. To sum it up, I've been wanting to do airsoft events for a long time. Um, and ever since I got my first airsoft gun, being the AK on my 17th, I've been wanting to do one. I had this really cool setup. I had an AK and I had a Glock 17 to carry with me. Um, why am I so fucking itchy? I'm why am I so itchy? Uh, during the event, I think I died like five or six times and I only ever got one kill, but I never got it on video. Which sucks because my GoPro died like three quarters of the way through the game. So I had to record stuff with my phone. Another thing that was really annoying is I couldn't see through my visor. I couldn't see anything because I didn't have my glasses on. I had to have the visor. So if I used both my glasses and the visor, you think that would help? Wrong. Condensation. So I'd have to have the visor up, but then somebody would point me out for it. So I was boned either way, which was really disappointing. So I haven't done airsoft since then because one, I'm either going to get contact lenses or two, I'm going to just opt for a mesh visor, which doesn't really offer you that mu uh, much protection, but it's whatever. It was a lot of fun until after the event, because like a day after the event, my muscles just died. I couldn't even walk properly without it hurting. I do plan on doing more airsoft videos in the future. I've just got to invest in some better kit. It is... What's the time right now? 3.57. Okay, coming in at a very close second is the time I met my best friend from America. So let me give you some history. 
so I was about 14 in my Discord server, sitting in a VC by myself, making something on Gary's mod. She joins the VC, and because no female watches my channel, I thought she was a 12-year-old boy. Later did I find out that she was actually my age. And also, um, to my surprise, we had a surprisingly massive amount of things that we liked. Our sense of humor is basically the same and blah, 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 blah. I can go on and on and on, but I'll, I'll keep it short. Uh, but basically when we met, we went to Stonehenge, we got some lunch, we went to see the Magna Carta in Salisbury. I took her back to the crib. She was in this room, she was vibing. Uh, there's a few things in here that the last person who have touched it was her. Over there is a Plague Doctor's mask and I haven't touched it since for some fucking reason. Then we went to a hotel. I went to help unpack some stuff for her in the hotel. Then we got dinner. Then I met up with her the next day. We went to Southampton, did some shopping, took her back to the crib again. We had a good vibe for about an hour and then we said our goodbyes. Now, as of recording this on the 31st of August, it marks three weeks since the final day we met. On the off chance that my best friend is watching this, hi, how's it going? I really fucking miss you. <laughs> Basically, I hold her in such high regard. Uh, I got this. Basically, to commemorate our friendship together. And uh, she also got me this. So basically, what brought us together was Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. So she went to a convention and she got me this. A signed autograph for the English voice actor for Speedwagon, who's my favourite part one and part two character. Uh, I'm trying to get this framed. I'm really trying to get this framed. <laughs> she introduced me to a fair share of brain rots, like for example, the Japanese show Kamen Rider. I have a figure of Kamen Rider W. And yeah, that was that video was a very close second, but there's just this one video that just ever so slightly beats that. Just ever so slightly. And that video is, drum roll please. It's, what do you expect? It's the time I went to Romania. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Whoa! I need to stop copying Balaki, Jesus Christ. The reason Romania is just that little bit higher is because of how long the video is. It's about an hour long. And the editing in it is probably just better than most of the stuff now. I'll probably make a video better than that at some point, but oh well, I don't know when. So while I was in Romania, I went to a bunch of different places and no, I'm not going to pronounce them because I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. I did a lot of traveling. I, uh, I did a bit of sightseeing. I went to Dracula's castle. I went up the mountains. And technically, I went to Corvin Castle too, but every time I tried to edit with it, my PC just wouldn't wouldn't cooperate. Vegas would crash. So unfortunately, I have no footage of me in Corvin Castle. I even bought the Romanian flag. Uh, funny story, I um, I hung this outside of my old bedroom window, but because but because of the way it was positioned, it was positioned downwards, and it looked like the flag of pansexuals. I'm not pansexual. So yeah, that covers my five favorite videos that I've ever made on my channel. And hopefully there'll be more videos that are put out which could maybe be better. Who knows? Maybe I'll produce a great enough video that'll blow me up. Until then, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm very tired. I'm gonna go sleep now. Why am I autistic?